Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. So thank you again for attending the STEP webinar. If you are attending, that means that you have been accepted into Virginia Tech. So congratulations. What an exciting time. So tonight we're going to talk about this program. So kind of the layout of the webinar tonight, I'm going to do some introductions of a few people that if you attend the STEP program that you will end up meeting. We do have some students that are going to be joining us later on for a question and answer session. We're going to do just an overview of STEP, kind of the goals and objectives of the program, how the program is going to be structured, talk about some of the events of the program, why would you want to come to STEP, and then hopefully have a question and answer session with some of the STEP alumni. To get started tonight, I want to introduce you to myself and to our STEP co-coordinator, because you will be seeing quite a lot of us. So my name is Christina Martin. I am the Assistant Director of Student Programs in the Center for the Enhancement of Engineering Diversity. For short, we call it the SEED office. I really work with student support, developing programming for students, professional development type things, social development, just anything to help students have a good experience here at Virginia Tech. I am also going to be directing the STEP program this summer. My co-coordinator, her name is going to be Molly Zudima. She is a graduate assistant in the SEED office. She is going to be working with me daily to help run the STEP program, so I'm really excited to have Molly on. If you get to meet Molly, she is going to be one of the Hypatia instructors for next year. So those of you that will be in Hypatia, may have Molly as one of your instructors in the fall. I'd also like to introduce Scott Malloy, who is on the call with us. So I will let him introduce himself and give you his tie to the STEP program. Hi, guys. I'm Scott Malloy. I was in STEP last year. I'm coming back as, a men or as an RA this year. And uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you. So we're excited to have Scott. So he's been where you all are because he was a participant in the STEP program last year and loved it so much that he's coming back to be one of the RAs. So I'm really, really excited to have Scott with us. Just wanted to give you a little bit of background on myself. Before coming to Virginia Tech, I was actually a K-12 teacher for 17 years. I worked with SEED through some of the work that I did um, in the K-12 system and just really enjoyed my work with SEED, the work that I did with the students and the work that I did with the staff of the SEED office. So this summer, I had the opportunity to move to Virginia Tech. So this is my first summer directing the STEP program. I'm really excited about it. I think we have a really great team that's going to help this summer with a lot of experience. So I'm very, very excited about that. So with no further ado, we will get started. So just to talk a little bit of uh, general information about the program, the, prog the STEP program is a five-week program for incoming freshman students. The program dates are Sunday, June 25th, which is move-in day, through Saturday, July 29th, which is move-out day. The STEP program is open to all students who have been accepted into the College of Engineering. So if you are interested in engineering, that would be you. Uh, the College of Engineering also includes uh, building construction now, so that, that would be open to those students as well. So talking about the program goals for STEP, one of the big program goals for STEP is just to build a community of students before you actually come to the Virginia Tech campus. So coming to STEP gives you a chance to network with other students who are interested in engineering, who are going to be taking the same classes that you are, who are going to have similar schedules, the same professors. So it allows you to network with those students and get to know students before you ever come to campus. You'll also have a, the opportunity to build some connections with faculty and staff before you get here. Like I was saying before, Molly is going to be our co-coordinator for STEP, but she's also going to be a high patient instructor. So you'll get to know her and probably we'll see her around in the fall. Our chemistry and math and engineering fundamentals instructors will all be instructors that you could possibly have in the fall as well. So it's it's to get to know the student community as well as the faculty community at Virginia Tech. In addition to just the personnel that you'll get to meet, building community is also the physical community. So it gives you a chance to 
be on campus, see where things are, learn where all the buildings are, what are the fun things to do, where are the good places to study. This gives you an, an opportunity to kind of seek those things out before the entire student body gets here. During the STEP program, there's going to be a lot of activities that you will be involved in, both social activities, but also professional development activities. We have people from the uh, career and professional development that are going to come and talk to you about resume building, cover letter writing. One of the big things that happens in engineering early in the fall is the engineering expo. So we will talk about, you know, what is the engineering expo? How do you communicate with people at the expo? What do you need to be prepared for? So this will give you an opportunity to understand about some things that are going to happen in the fall before you actually get there. We also have personnel from the Student Success Center that are going to talk about how do you manage your time as a college student? How do you study effectively? One thing that I find working with students is a lot of students who come into engineering haven't really had to study much in the past. There is a difference between studying and doing homework. So we will have people from the Student Success Center come and talk to you about, you know, how do you be a successful college student? How is it different from what high school used to be? And then obviously, one of the big goals for STEP is just your academic development. This will give you an opportunity to see what is chemistry really like. You know, you'll, you'll be doing chemistry for five weeks. You'll have a math class for five weeks. The engineering fundamentals is the beginning of the two required engineering courses. So you'll get a feel for what those things are like, what the tests are like, going to be like, what the homework's going to be like before you actually have to do it for a grade in the fall. So it really is an opportunity to transition from high school to college, you know, just working on building the community, working on all of the, providing all of the seminars that we feel like would make a strong college student, and then looking specifically at the academic content that would help make you successful. So there's several different pieces to the STEP program. Ooh, and my things are not showing up. <laughs> so that's okay. I can talk about them. Um, so the coursework, uh, coursework is going to be, you're going to be taking math, chemistry, and engineering foundations. All of those are taught by Virginia Tech instructors. Another portion to the program are social activities. So we will do some things with Venture Out maybe do some bowling, taking some short trips, just to, to give you an opportunity to get to know the students outside of the campus structure. Professional development seminars, which I've already talked about. Something neat that STEP has done in the past is they've had an industry engineering event. So they have had GE come in and do some projects with students, which was fun, a fun engineering activity. The other thing that we do is really try to help students connect with faculty, and we do that through faculty seminars. So one day a week, we get faculty from different backgrounds to come in and talk about their research, to talk about their major, so that students can really understand what's involved in that major. Maybe do a hands-on activity, depending on what they're what they're involved with. The faculty lunches are an opportunity for you to sit down with faculty over lunch at D2 and just talk to them, ask them questions that you might have about the major, about their research, about how they got involved in what they do. So we really try to incorporate a lot of different things into the STEP program so that when you come in the fall, you feel very prepared, you know other students, you know the faculty, and you're ready to start. So specifically talking about the coursework, so STEP participants take a math course, a chemistry course, and the engineering foundation course. So I want to stop just a second and talk specifically about math. I know that you all have been getting several emails about taking the Alex placement test. If you are interested in coming to STEP and thinking that you are coming to STEP, we ask that you not take all three of your attempts because the math course that we have is specifically designed to help you pass the Alex. 
ideally, it would be nice if you could take one attempt before you come to step. That way we can kind of see where you are. And then part of the math instruction will be geared toward skills that are needed in order to take the, the Alex exam and pass it. One of the big deals with math is that you have to place into calculus here at Virginia Tech, and you cannot declare your major until you have passed calculus. So being able to place into calculus is a pretty big deal. Sometimes at step, students take all three of their attempts before they ever get here, and there's not anything we can do about that. So I do ask that if you are interested in participating in step, to go ahead and take one of your attempts on the Alex placement. If you don't pass, we will, we have time built into the program to where you will have some of the math for the Alex, and then you will have an opportunity to take it again. After you get finished with step, if you wanted to take another attempt, if you did not pass it on the second try, you would still have one of your attempts left. So the math that you take is kind of a mixture between pre-calc and calculus. You will have exams in there just to prepare you. Chemistry is literally the first five weeks of chemistry here at Virginia Tech. I've heard from students that, yes, it was really hard, but they were so thankful that they did it during step because it prepared them much, much better for what they saw in the fall. Again, chemistry will have uh, homework, exams, just like you would in the chemistry class in the fall. The engineering foundations course is kind of a mixture of engineering 1215 and 1216, which are the two introduction to engineering courses that you take as a freshman. There's a variety of different topics that are covered in there, and I do believe there is a design project that students work on. So Really, the purpose of STEP is a transition program. We want you to see what it's like to be a freshman on campus with the workload before you get here. And it gives you an opportunity to really see what that's going to be like and feel what it's going to be like before you face that first chemistry test or the first calculus test. So this is what I was talking about earlier. So we do have faculty seminars and lunches. So the College of Engineering faculty are invited to do seminars on their expertise area in engineering, also their research areas. They also present on different opportunities, maybe internships, different resources at Virginia Tech. And those are done both in the seminars and in the lunches. The seminars will be a formal seminar that you'll be able to choose which faculty member you visit. For the lunches, you will actually be able to sign up with the faculty to have lunch with them. Just a very informal conversation, get to know them. It may be somebody that has the same interest as you. Just an opportunity for you to ask informal questions. So there will be some industry events. In the past, General Electric has led some activities for students that have focused on leadership, engineering design challenges. I think these have always been really fun challenges that the students have enjoyed, but it's kind of neat to, to have the people from GE come and, and help with those. So like I was saying before, in addition to the academics that you will be working on and, and kind of the introduction to faculty and networking with faculty, we also have lots of seminars and workshops lined up for you with on-campus groups. This is for you to have the resources that you need before you get here and to know some people in these areas. So the Student Success Center will come. They will do, again, some seminars on time management, how to appropriate study skills, effective study skills. Hokey Wellness will also come talk about Nutrition, how do you feed yourself? Why do you need sleep? Uh, making sure that you're well hydrated. Career and professional development, as I had said before, will be there to talk about, you know, how do you do a resume? How do you give an elevator pitch? How do you interact with people at the Career Expo, which you all will experience in September? And then we have the Office of Undergraduate Research that'll talk about internships, if that's something that you are interested in. How do you do research as an undergraduate? How do you find internships? So we really want to make sure that this program is all inclusive and that you have a lot of resources to fall back on once you begin your career here at Virginia Tech. 
So it's not all work. There is some some fun play time. So we will do a lot of activities, team building activities that will be planned both by the staff and just the RAs. We have the break zone on campus where you can go bowl, you can play pool. I think they have table tennis. And I noticed this week, I think they're having a gaming competition there. We will probably do some off-campus trips, maybe to do some hikes, some fun things like that. So we really want you to get to know the Blacksburg community, as well as to get to know the other students. So we do build in time for fun stuff, mostly on the weekends. Hopefully during the week, you're going to be studying, but there, there will be time to do some fun things as well. So let's talk about why you would want to come to STEP. You know, making the transition to college can be difficult and scary when you're not familiar with the area. So coming to STEP gives you a chance to get to know the Blacksburg community, get to know the Virginia Tech community, the surrounding community with students who are in the same life situation that you are. These are all students that are going to be coming to Virginia Tech for the first time in engineering and to really get to know them and to make some friends. I know students that, who have been roommates or have been friends through STEP have kind of stayed friends throughout their time here at Virginia Tech. So some of the strongest friendships can be made during this program. You know, we really want to make sure that you're aware of all of the resources on campus that you have available to you so that you can make the most of your Virginia Tech experience while you're here. So that's why we offer seminars with all of these different groups on campus so that you're aware of all of the different resources and who to talk to so that you know what the names of the people are or somebody to contact in that office. Obviously, the opportunities for academic coursework, uh, this gives you a chance to really see what is the transition from high school to college going to be like as far as coursework. One of the things that I have not mentioned yet are academic coaches. So once a week, you will meet with a graduate student just to sit down and in a smaller group, go through, you know, how are classes going? What do you need? Where are the study tools? Are you struggling in chemistry? Who do you go to for help? You know, just to, to help you navigate that academic transition between high school and college. And then one of the neat things about this program is the faculty interactions. You get to hear about the faculty's research, get to see what they're doing. You know, you even get to sit down and have lunch with them, which is kind of a rare opportunity during professors and faculty don't have a whole lot of time to do that during the school year. So I think that's kind of a rare opportunity. That's a pretty cool aspect of the STEP program. So just kind of the logistics of the program. So the program cost is $3,000 per student. That number is based on your financial need. So make sure that you have filled out a FAFSA form, which you should have when you submitted your application to Virginia Tech, because we will pull that to see what, based on your financial need, what you will owe for the STEP program. The one thing I will say is please do not let financial restrictions keep you from applying. If you are accepted into the program, I think we would do everything we could to try to work with you to make sure that money was not an issue. But the cost is $3,000 per student. And, and again, it depends on what your financial need is based on your FAFSA. In order to attend the STEP program, you have to stay for the entire program. So you have to be here on June 25th and you are not allowed to leave until June 29th. I know some people have asked, my family's going on vacation. Can I leave early? Can I leave for the weekend because I have a wedding? No, part of the program is being here for the entire duration of the program, because if you're gone, you're going to be missing important aspects of the program. So you have to attend the entirety of the program. I've already gotten a couple of questions about computers. So the College of Engineering has its own computer requirements. I will post this presentation on the STEP information website, and you can click on the computer requirement. But if you Google Virginia Tech College of Engineering computer requirement, you'll probably be able to see the computer that you need. The sooner you can get that computer, the better, because you want to make sure that you have a computer before you come to campus in June. 
So just logistics of applications and important dates for STEP. So I actually have moved the application deadline. It was uh, May 1st. I've moved it back until the middle of May. So now the deadline is Friday, May 19th. You will find out Friday, May 26th, whether or not you are accepted into the program. And then you will have to accept your place in the program by June 5th. The beginning of the program starts Sunday, June 25th and move out day is on Saturday, July 29th. Okay, so I would like to open it up to any questions that you all may have. I will let Tawani, do you want to introduce yourself really quick? Hi, I'm Tawani. I'm a first year general engineering student here at Virginia Tech, and I did step this past summer, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about my experience. Okay. Aaron, I think I've got you now. Do you want to introduce yourself? I definitely can introduce myself. <laughs> uh, we'll figure out how to make the video work a little later. But hello, everyone. My name is Aaron Grossman. Uh, I am also a freshman here at Virginia Tech planning to study computer engineering. I did STEP this last summer, uh, and I'm excited to answer any questions you guys have. Okay, so the first question is, how many people are accepted into this program? Usually there's between about 90 and 100 is usually what we have for the program. And the program varies depending on the last couple of years with COVID. I think it's been a little bit crazy, but I think somewhere usually there's between 90 and 100 students. Is the engineering course through STEP? the same as the course that we would take in our first year in Hypatia. I'm actually going to let one of the students answer this. Scott, I'll go to you. <laughs> well, the engineering course that we take through STEP, it's very similar to like the general engineering classes that we all need to take. I think it's engineering 1215, 1216. Might have that wrong, but either way, it should be the same that every, every first year takes. It's very similar course structure. Uh, it's just a lot quicker. Yeah, that's pretty much it. How many students typically apply for the program? I think usually about 90-ish students apply for the program. So, Chawani, I'm going to go to you, and I, I'm going to put you on the spot and ask you a question. Can you talk about what your favorite thing about STEP was? I think it was probably meeting, like, one of my closest friends. Um, I know it should probably be something academic, but... Coming like out of state, um, it was already hard enough being away from home and not being able to see like some of my high school friends. So I was able to like make like close friends with like a group of girls that I met like about the first week. And then um, as the weeks have gone on, we've like seen a lot of changes. And so we've gotten closer by the fifth week. So like you're going to be with the same people for five weeks. So once you get to the um, end of the five weeks, it's so like interesting to see how close everyone gets and like how like you get like closer in these groups. Perfect. Thank you. Erin, I'm going to pick on you. Can you tell me what your favorite thing for STEP was? Yeah, I think um, my favorite things was definitely more the social side on the weekends. They always, uh, the RAs did a great job in having activities for us. Um, every weekend. I think my favorite one was being able to go to the Venture Out uh, Challenge course, which is, if you, it's one of those like, it's a challenge course. So it's a aerial ropes course type thing. You can definitely Google it. They have a website about it, but there's lots of different uh, challenge elements to bring you out of your comfort zone, like zip line type elements. And that was a really fun thing to do with some friends. Um, that was probably my favorite activity. So I will say venture out the challenge course is already on the schedule for this this year. So I'm pretty Incredible. excited about that. <laughs> All right, Scott, I'm going to pick on you. What, well, is, um, what was your favorite thing of STEP? It seems like everybody else has already said friends. So I'm going to explore something a little different here. Um, just getting a chance to meet the professors, um, even ones that I'm probably never going to have. Uh, and just talk to them about like their research and what they're interested in and their life paths. So, okay. So now flipping it, Scott, I'm going to go back to you. What was the hardest thing about STEP? Ooh, that final chemistry test. Um, <laughs> uh, I'd say getting out of your comfort zone and just talking to people, especially if you're like me and from a small town where you've never really had to introduce yourself to anyone before. Okay. 
Uh, Tulani, what was the hardest, most challenging thing for step or the most helpful, I guess I should say? Um, I think the most helpful or challenging thing was probably just academic wise adjusting. Um, it's always like a really hard thing when you're starting a whole set of new courses. Um, coming from high school, I did have like a solid background to help me push myself to be able to like get through step. But it was just seeing a lot of new material um, for the first time, being in like a college class setting, learning at like a college um, pace, be being in step. A lot of the information was condensed into five weeks. So it was even, it was even faster than what it regularly is. So um, that was kind of hard, but I was really proud of myself and proud of the resources that step provided for me so that I would be able to, you know, um, adjust as the weeks gone on. Um, once I got through the first two weeks, like, I started, I started to uh, catch on and it wasn't like as much as a problem as I thought it would be. Fabulous. Thank you. All right, Erin, back to you. What, what was the hardest, most challenging and or helpful thing from STEP for you? Yeah, I think the most helpful thing was definitely that opportunity to be able to really network with your professors, um, with professors that you can have um, in the fall, like your possible chemistry instructor, which I'm hoping is the same person as we had, um, as well as the opportunity to be able to do things like lab tours. Uh, over the summer, I got to tour what we call the Wear Lab, which is where all of our design teams are housed. So like our off-road vehicle, Formula SAE car, um, steel bridge, um, and now, as a freshman, I'm part of our Baja Offered Vehicle Team, and that's been a great way to build your resume, um, build my resume and meet people. But being able to sit down with these professors and hear about their research is incredibly interesting and be able to build those connections uh, before you step first, uh, step foot on campus for your fall semester. So Erin, just to follow up on that, uh, was that the first time that you had ever been to the Wear Lab and did that pique your interest in one of the design teams? That was definitely the first time I'd uh, been in the wear lab. I heard about it in the, um, you know, admissions type presentations. And it was definitely interesting, but it was really cool to be able to see it because, wow, do we have some expensive equipment in there. Um, and these teams have some pretty nice budgets as well. And you're able to uh, put together some really fruitful projects at the end of the year um, when you do join them. But uh, for instance, I've built a custom steering wheel position sensor uh, designing the motherboard or the PCB for that, and it's currently off getting manufactured. Uh, so that step kind of intrigued my interest in that. And then once I came to campus, I was able to really get involved, which was great. Very nice. Last question for my student panelists. So Scott, if you were giving advice uh, to somebody on step, what would you say? Um, to prepare for the next year of college or just in general? Just just in general. Uh, make sure you have fun. Uh, enjoy the people who you meet and uh, try your best at classes. And that's just about it. Okay, Tulani, do you have any words of wisdom to share for STEP, things that you may have learned? Um, just step out of your comfort zone. Don't too, be too like hesitant to try things because you didn't do it in your back in high school, like really use this chance to um, take everything in. And then also once you're like on campus um, in the summer, really take in a lot of the landscape, um, take advantage of the Torque Bridge. Uh, that's where we spend a lot of our time like studying, which is like the library. Also like look around at like some landmarks because once you get to the fall, it kind of like becomes like all like, oh, okay, I've seen this before. Like I've explored this before, but it kind of gives you an upper hand um, as far as, you know, looking at things before the fall starts. Thank you. Okay, Aaron, what are your words of wisdom or helpful advice for STEP? My biggest advice would be definitely to seek support when you, you know, feel like you're even falling behind just a little bit. These classes in STEP as well as in college uh, move at very fast paces. Um, and at your first sign, you know, STEP's going to teach you about how to seek these resources, like the tutoring we have available on campus, um, counseling, all that different kind of stuff. So being able to 
go to office hours and seek that support. Um, they were offered, at least for like chemistry and math, almost every day during the STEP program. And taking advantage of those in STEP then sets up that behavior for going into your first year. And then also when they tell you to memorize the polyatomic ions, do it. It'll help a lot. <laughs> Uh, words of wisdom for uh, students who have been there and who have well survived their first year of college, I will say. <laughs> they are about three weeks shy of surviving their very first year. We have another question, a couple of questions. The residence hall that you all will be staying in, under full disclosure, I'm not sure what the residence hall is. They have not been assigned for all of the summer programs. But I will say due to cost restrictions, you all will be in a non-air conditioned dorm. So I would encourage you uh, to make sure you bring a fan if you come to step and bring cool clothes. Although Scott and Tawani and Aaron all survived the summer, which I don't think was probably too, too bad in the non-air conditioned dorm. But I'm not sure yet because those are assigned to the programs and they have not assigned them yet. I can I can interject and say that it's really not that bad. Blacksburg gets nice chilly at night, even in the summer. Uh, so if you're coming from a place like Nova, Philadelphia, New York, it's the weather is very different here. Uh, you're up in the mountains, so not having air conditioning. I'm not in an air conditioned dorm currently. It's really not that bad. Two fans, one going in, one going out, uh, and you'll be in air conditioned classrooms most of your day anyway. Yeah, thank you, Aaron. That was actually really helpful to hear from a student. <laughs> So, yeah, so we have had some questions that says, when you say move out day, does that mean students take their belongings home? Yes. So there are a couple of weeks between the end of step and the beginning of summer, uh, in the beginning of fall. So you have to completely move out of the dorm, take all of your stuff home. I don't know how many students do this, but there are places that you can rent in the area. If you didn't want to take all of your stuff home, you could rent to put your stuff there for a couple of weeks until you could move your stuff into your residence hall for the fall. But yes, when you move out of step, you have to move everything out. Would, got, would you guys, so this is for the students, would you all recommend taking digital notes for example, with an iPad or another type of note-taking device? If so, what would your recommendations be? Well, I'm just going to say real quick, um, I'm one of the dinosaurs in all my classes who still takes notes on a uh, pencil and paper. Um, most of the other people seem to be using either an iPad with one of those uh, Apple pencils that they got or a um, uh, just a drawing tablet with their laptops. That seems to work fine for most people, I don't see a whole lot of uh, people in my classes using pen and paper anymore, but it's, I think it's just up to you at the end of the day. Yeah, as someone who did invest in an iPad uh, coming into step into my first year, it's been one of my best investments personally. I'm a very, I'm a computer engineer, I'm a very digital guy, and uh, being able to take notes digitally, downloading, you know, the professor's PowerPoint and then annotating that has been really nice and um, being able to do all your assignments digitally is very nice. Um, and it's definitely very popular. Yeah. So I had like paper and pencil through step and then through my fall semester, I also used paper and pencil, but then like for Christmas, I was able to get like an iPad and a pencil and that was like a really big game changer. But I still use pe pencil and paper for math class because I just need to see everything like like it just needs to be in my hand. So I just feel like, I guess, subject wise, whichever you guys like find yourself like, oh, maybe I need to focus on using paper, paper and pencil for this class, or I can use like digital drawing for this class on an iPad. So I think it's like a good test and um, test and trial run for the step. But I think both are really good options. So I think the students bring up some really interesting points of you kind of have to understand how you learn. Um, I know for me, I enjoy writing things down on paper just because I feel like that actual transcribing helps my brain remember it. Um, but as Aaron was saying, a lot of students now are doing it digitally. So I think it's however you learn best. Um, I like what Tawani said in that step is an opportunity to test it out. If you think you want to have an iPad, um, if you're able to have an iPad before you start step, that would be a good good chance for you to test out something and see if you're going to be able to use it. 
if you don't, you know, if you're used to taking paper and pencil, like I was like Aiden, um, Scott enjoys, you know, just um, kind of whatever you're most comfortable with. So are students able to set up their dorms when they arrive? So for step, yes. So the dorm has furniture in it that is already there. You'll have a bed, a dresser, a sink, um, some chairs. I'm not exactly sure what all is in the dorm room, but you and your roommate, who you will have a roommate that will be assigned to you, are able to set up your dorm the way you want it. When you move out, you'll move all of your stuff out. And then when you all are reassigned for the fall, uh, you'll be able to do the same thing. So here is a question. I took a college placement exams, but I haven't done the Alex. Do I still have to do it? Yes, you do have to do the Alex placement regardless because it determines your place in chemistry and calculus. So you would have to, to take the Alex exam. So good question. Will we change dorms each year or each semester? So during the academic year, you stay in the dorm for the entire year. So wherever you live, uh, particularly if you are going to be living in Galapatia, Galileo, Hypatia, or Digerati, you will remain in that living learning community for the entire year. If you chose to take summer classes and live on campus, you would probably be in a different space for summer academy, but you will stay in the same dorm all year for your freshman year. Okay, well, I would like to thank all of, all of you all for coming. Uh, I hope I have given you a good overview of what the STEP program is and have answered any questions that you might have. I really would like to thank the students, Scott and Tawani and Aaron, uh, who took their time out this evening to come and answer some questions. They've been there. They've done it. They were STEP students. They have survived their first year. Uh, you will be seeing Scott and Tawani around as RAs, which I didn't mention. Tawani is going to be one of our RAs, uh, so you will be able to see them this summer. So I'm excited to have them. But again, if you have any other questions after the webinar is ended, you are welcome to email me. And I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. Thank you.